Just kind of tell it's someone who's still asleep. He 101. They forgot to plug in their mic. <laughs> Good morning, Lolis. It is Saturday. Did start a little bit later than usual. I woke up a little bit later than usual, too, because I had a late night last night. Usually, I know that we do some form of art today. Still trying, to figure, still thinking about whether to try and get some writing done or to continue some sketches from the last couple of weeks. In the meanwhile, I did try to stream Vampire Survivors the other day, and my computer crashed because, in spite of underclocking, something went wrong and I froze. Now I know I can stream this game just fine without any problems happening. I have been streaming for a good month or more uh, since underclocking my system without any crashes. So I'm hoping that I can do that, continue to do that moving forward because buying a new graphics card is still unfeasible at the moment, or at least rather expensive. But I just figure. Yeah, I do something like this in the meanwhile. While I figure out something I could do for the rest of the day, or at least until my brain can just sort of chill. This game is extremely low effort. Well, it feels like it's extremely low effort when really it's just something that has a very simple premise. Very simple controls. I can see why it's been so popular. We already might as well chill in this for a time being. Switch this to game capture. Vampire Survivors. And to put this into full screen mode. It's going to relax for a little bit. Even my voice kind of me feels a little messed up. You know, for something that's early access, this is actually pretty feature complete. I can't wait to see what else they add into the game. I mean, I'm already kind of surprised by the amount of unlocks they got in place as it is. That's weird. It's not showing up on the desktop audio. Is it too quiet? Who should I play as this time? I know it's kind of... I kind of don't want to be playing every single meme or stream game that pops up in the VTuber community. But it's always a good feel when said game happens to be fairly addicting. Or at least fairly fun. I did not care for... Oh, that's fairly loud. I didn't care that much for Lost Ark, to be honest, but this game is okay. It's certainly a good game for just chatting. I find myself not really paying attention to the game all that much, to be perfectly honest. Which I guess is kind of the point. AOEs drop off really fast, so I guess you're supposed to spend that time in the guard spend that time upgrading pretty fast as well. Let's see how good my RNG is this time. I recently discovered that these levels are not in fact infinite, and they do end after half an hour or so. So I'm hoping 
that I can reach Papaner in one of these maps today, since I've already gone pretty far. I reached 20 minutes or so the last time I played. I wonder if this is also coded in Yuki. It must be because that's what caused the crash last time. Heroquid, welcome to the stream. I thought you were busy playing Mahjong Soul. Well, regardless, I appreciate you showing up anyway. How are you this morning? Or whatever time it is in Thailand. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I got a steal up for me, that's actually pretty good. Upset that I'm not doing art at the moment this Saturday morning. I'll think about it. My brain's kind of fried right now. Certainly, way too fried to do any ride, any serious riding, which is prom because I should really. Holy shit! I should really. Focus more on that. Been neglecting my creative writing lately. I do have a collab that needs to be run eventually, sometime in the near, near future, if possible. You know. I have a lot of stuff in the back burner, back burner that needs to be worked on, actually. Since I got in the perfect turn off your rain game like this, it used to be synthetic. I haven't played synthetic in a while either. Not sure why I dropped off. I guess synthetic 2 got kind of. Yeah, it was kind of a new jank place at the time that it came out. But it's early access, so what do you, so what do you expect? Today's podcast than I expected. Way more burned out. Does Pentagram not leave any experiences to pick up? That's kind of dumb. That'll make things sit considerably more difficult now. At least the AOE is wide. <sighs> Need more Santa waters, please. Please, 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 please. The other reason I don't really typically enjoy streaming uh, meme games like this, or like Lost Ark, or etc. is because when everyone's playing it, the chances of people finding you are fairly diluted, as opposed to if you play something unique, or something that people don't mostly stream with all the time. And I mean, I guess it could work in the other way too, where other people are just looking for people playing Vampire Survivors, right? But, eh, I don't know if that's chances that way, to be honest. I'd much rather play something that not everyone's playing. If it was just for the purpose of like getting the viewer that wouldn't be watching otherwise, I mean. But otherwise, I still stand by the fact that it's better to stream something that you actually enjoy than to stream something for popularity or just to get someone 
that wouldn't be watching that would look for something obscure by default that's as ace pointed out people will be able to tell if you are not enjoying doing what you're doing i don't know the thing with art is if it becomes way too routine hello is it now well, let me just uh, reduce the game volume a little bit and boost this slightly welcome to the stream by the way Alessi how are you today I'm still kind of half awake or half asleep so I figure I put on some vampire survivors to just kind of relax Usually on Saturdays, I do something creative related, whether it's working in Unity, writing something, or doing some art. Right now, I'm doing neither. <laughs> a little bit burned out from a podcast I had yesterday with a different VTuber. <laughs> I'm trying to keep my voice in the green levels on OBS, and if I... Feel great every day. Um, I guess I'm alright today. I'm just a little tired. I'm very tired, actually. <laughs> I really need to get into a habit of going to sleep a little bit earlier on Fridays. If I'm going to continue to stream on Saturday mornings. Honestly. That way, I'll be a little bit more a little bit more ready for Saturday morning streams. So I can serve Asia and Western Europe. Or rather, serve it a little bit better, I should say. Man, my RNG is not very good this run, as far as weapon pickups are concerned. All my stuff is are way too weak at the moment. Like way too weak. I haven't played an FPS game in a while either. I think about maybe popping one of those in. Play for a little bit. Only problem is those sort of games are definitely not stress relief. At least not for me. I actually have to try hard. Unless it's something like Project Warlock, and after I lost my whole save file in last time in Project Warlock because I forgot that it's actually life based as opposed to continue based. Well, I kind of haven't felt like wanting to replay all those levels that I missed last time. So, <laughs> you know. And besides, I'm gonna have to change it up every so often. It's one thing to have Monday, Wednesday, Friday be kind of predictable because that's basically the work week, right? I Maybe mean, I should make Saturday less about art and more about, uh, well. I feel like it's a little bit lazy to say that we just do whatever. Hmm? Yeah, FPS games have always been toxic. But you can't... What else is? What do you expect from anything that is competitive? I guess it seems really toxic now just because the battle... Ro because of battle royales in general. And I really do not like battle royales. Like, at all. I could try out the new Gundam game that some people are talking about, but uh, I'm getting some mixed reviews about from other streamers. The problem with a game being just an Overwatch clone, or people accusing it or comparing it to Overwatch, is that 
if it's true, then I'm really definitely not interested. <laughs> Been there, done that. Oh, finally a chest. Still remember those times playing CS 1.6 with friends to find cable and everybody just chilling, laughing in good old days. I remember those days too. But unfortunately, I also remember the days of P of rival CS Counter Strike teams rage quitting and then pulling out real guns and shooting each other. To be fair, that wasn't exactly a very common thing, but it did happen occasionally. So at the same time, uh. I don't really remember if I'm talking about Counter Strike, if I'm remembering PS 1.6 or if I'm remembering Counter Strike Source. Honestly, I kind of miss playing TF2 now. The servers are still up, so I guess I could always stop by and continue playing again, but it's just different. I miss having lobbies. I really don't care for matchmaking. Hey Winter! Yes, indeed. Today we're playing Garlic Simulator. Unfortunately, it appears that I'm being surrounded by the Meteorians. They want to consume. They do not appreciate that my. They do not in appreciate my attempt to infuse myself with garlic. I'm about to be consumed any moment now. As it turns out, too much protein is, in fact, bad for your diet. They do not like garlic bread. They are heretics of the worst kind. How are you this morning? <laughs> 380. I cannot afford anything. At the moment. Yeah, I can wait. I want to try and focus on beating at least one of these levels, and I think it can be done if I take Antonio or Imelda and just start getting every possible damage buff. Oh, that's cool. Thank you for visiting. You thank you for visiting to vibe with us. Then I too am also extremely tired. So tired that I couldn't decide what form of art I wanted to do today, and I just thought to myself, I want to play. Vampire survivors. <laughs> so I figured, whatever, might as well. This game is such a meme. It does not take itself seriously, and that's another reason why I like it. Because, frankly, I don't have the uh, active brain cells right now. Library is the shorter map. I mean, all it is is pretty much, it's a very tight map. And if I use that uh, one character that has bouncy spells that just goes all over the place, it becomes very easy to just spam the map with spells. I was hoping to try and finish the forest level, this one, just because this is supposed to be the easy, supposed to be the first level, right? You know, Alessi, I was afraid that this was one of those games that just plays forever, but it turns out that there is a way to win each level. The level ends after you survive 30 minutes, and then something spooky is supposed to happen. So, I'm trying to reach that point. <laughs> the farthest I've gotten in this game so far is 20 minutes. But, as you collect gold and whatnot, you can always, you can eventually power up your character. So, eventually... If you don't suck, you're supposed to be able to actually beat one of these levels. Yeah, it seems like a fairly easy goal for today's stream, right? Maybe I can finish that after a couple runs and then I can do something else. If I don't and I end up just spending the entire stream today playing Vampire Spiders, I guess I could. It's not the worst thing to happen. Hmm. Rise up, true believers. You could almost say I'm looking for a VTuber uprising, am I right? But I'm Tiss. 
So, Alessi, um, how did you find my stream? Did you just find me randomly through, uh, going, scrolling through Twitch? Or did you find me through Twitter, or...? <laughs> Beep boop. I don't think I like Pentagram that much. It erases everything in sight, but it deprives me of experience points. I think I'll take armor this time. I really need some damage upgrades though. The problem with games like this that don't let you choose those things, choose what you upgrade is it's you are somewhat at the mercy of RNG. I say some- well, no, maybe I guess you're more in, in the mercy of RNG than a lot of other games for the fact that if you don't get a lot of- if you don't get the same spells several times, you're going to be very weak. Hmm. Ah, see? It's a good thing I'm playing the character that gets more experience at each level up, or I would be having a very bad time right now. Not that I'm not already having kind of a bad time. I'm taking damage. <laughs> Did I just eat chicken? Roasted chicken. See, I'm not even doing enough damage to kill the Skelly Boys. This is very concerning. Um, the chickens seem to come from randomly just from enemies dropping or from killing these torches. Sometimes killing- see? There we go. In the library stage, they didn't have many uh, destructible objects that I could break open for free stuff, which was... Make, which made the game considerably more difficult. Man, I had better get some more upgrades for my spells or we're going to have a problem here. I need more garlic. Please, game. More garlic. The horde looking kind of dummy thick, yeah. Thankfully, the horde is localized to one area, so I can gently move myself downward with little effort. But I will need to go back up eventually, because they are dropping a lot of experience that I can't access, since there is a fuck-off horde in front of it. If I can just slowly crawl around... There we go. There we go. Gently grab these gemstones up here. Get some money here. We're being surrounded by vegetables over there. I know I said I need more damage, but I need a shield too. Ah, uh, more chicken! Hey there, Lenarth. How are you this morning? Decided to stream Vampire Survivors today instead of art today. Just because I wasn't feeling the art. Uh, being, my brain's kind of burned out right now. I want to do something uh, a little bit different today. And you? Hey, look at all the roast chicken that's just ro ro rolling around.
Oh, you just finished having an aper a aperitif? I'm jealous. I didn't, haven't had a nice, I haven't had a nice bit of snaps in a while. Last night I was reading through this uh, manga about, I forgot the name of the manga, what's it called? Let me bring it up here. Last night I was reading some more Osake wa Fufu ni, ni Nate Kara, which I don't know what that is translating to English, but it's basically a manga about a overly serious uh, businesswoman and housewife who really likes cocktails and her husband has a really good chef. And he made the red eye for her in the most recent chapter. And even though the red eye is a fairly simple to make a cocktail it's just beer and tomato juice it's not something you see very often here and now i have a craving for it i might walk over to the grocery store uh, near my house get some exercise in purchase some cheap lager and some tomato juice and make some this morning it's a fairly simple cocktail it's very low alcohol for the fact that it's literally beer and tomato juice so it seemed fairly interesting to drink even though I don't usually drink this early in the day. <laughs> oh man. Here comes bat flu. Uh oh. Oh. Ah, there we go. We are now fine. I mean, you're not too far off. What is pasta sauce but tomato? What? Merely. Uh, another form of tomato sauce. What is a man? Nothing but a miserable pile of secrets. But enough talk. Have at you. Aw, I appreciate that, Lenarth. I keep pushing back, wanting to go to Germany to visit my old college friends. And it's always there's always some bullshit going on which blocks it. Pandemic... The war in Ukraine. So dumb. But if I eventually do ever get to visit Europe, rest assured France is definitely on my, on my list of places to stop by. For the fact that we got um, me and Norvies in France and we got you in France. We actually got a few people in France I want to visit. And quite a few people in Germany. I was even planning to visiting on planning on visiting Russia for the obvious reasons. Unfortunately, I think visiting Russia will be off my itinerary for a very long time because it's definitely not going to be safe to visit there for a while. Um, but yeah, eventually I will have to visit Europe for many many reasons. It's just that right now. Or at least at the immediate future. Not so safe. And COVID was kind of dropping off too. I was really looking forward to visiting this, this year. <laughs> Maybe next year. Who knows. Maybe I will have to visit regardless of what's going on in the world. Because you can't really put things off forever, you know. You put off things for too long and you soon find even... You soon find even more complications getting in your way. That's true. No! Why am I dying? Told you RNG is starting to fuck me in the ass. I can't... I guess I can't blame RNG entirely. Like I always say, you gotta get good sometimes. You just gotta get good. It is, I am having, it is kind of causing me a concern that I cannot even kill these stupid bats. I need more damage. Give me more damage. Alternatively, give me more garlic shields. I am perhaps a little too addicted to garlic shields. Just a bit. You know? Just a bit. I really feel like I need to thread the needle to escape this one. Oh, shit. 
I can't get around the trees. I don't. Ah! Have they consumed by the grizzly horde? Let's see now. I still have a 431. I can't really buy anything, can I? No, I can't buy anything right now. I could buy greed. 10% more coins per rank. I don't really like purchasing these sort of things, to be honest, but maybe I'll help out a little bit. Let's see if Antonio does any better, since he literally just gains more damage per, t per level. I used to think the whip weapon was kind of annoying as hell to use, but I'm getting used to it. Is it just me, or is his weapon cooldown um, a little bit lower than? Or maybe I got a skill, I purchased a skill earlier, which allowed me to... Oh, I purchased a skill point earlier, which makes me faster already, and I just didn't realize it? Hmm. Curious. Wait, why am I tryharding this game? You don't need to think that much. This is the perfect head thoughts brain MT simulator. I feel like if I start tryharding this game, I'm gonna quickly and stop enjoying myself. And then we're where are we gonna be? Must harvest. I must harvest. Need more garlic. Need more garlic. Just, just consume all the garlic in the game. To be fair, if it work, hey, if the if it works, right? Which it appears to be. Become garlic. Become as garlic. Glory to garlic. I know I unironically like garlic based foods in real life too. Also garlic's really good for you. Indeed it is. Indeed it is so. Indeed it is so. Garlic be praised. I can't- every time I say garlic, I can't help but think of Dragon Ball Z now. Because of, um... Uh, was it a movie that had garlic in it? No, it's not a movie. It was one of the arcs, um... Or maybe it was- it was one of the arcs where... Or was it a movie? What's the, uh, Dragon Ball Z arc where there was this, uh, virus going around where this guy was like... Some vampire thing was like turning people into... Monsters or whatever. That was gar that was garlic, right? Something like that. You know, it just occurred to me in the Castlevania Netflix series, 
Alucard can eat garlic without any problems. I wonder if garlic is just a... Is not actually dangerous to vampires in the Castlevania universe, or at least in that one. And that's just one of the many myths that uh, were spread by Dracula to, like, kind of screw people over. So I remember this one scene in Season 2 where Alucard has roasted garlic and he is consuming it and is clearly not having any problem. But to be fair, Alucard is not exactly a full vampire, so maybe he had something to do with it. My brain's all over the place. I don't know why I brought up Dragon Ball Z and thought of garlic. Maybe it's because all the characters in Dragon Ball Z are named after food. Gohan. Okay, okay. To be fair, that's like the only option, only one I could think of right now. I know there are other characters in Dragon Ball Z named after food. And I know Bulma is not one of those things, but... DBZ has Garlic Jr. That is correct. <laughs> I could have sworn there was more garlic based characters in DBZ. More garlic! I need more garlic. Actually, I should probably put some more points into whip. So I can kill praying mantises with ease. On the bright side, I at least do enough that I can cause give people knockback. Oh, I wonder if that's how you're supposed to get treasure chests. You get them from killing the stronger enemies. This is like the gacha aspect of the game, even though this game doesn't have any microtransactions in it whatsoever. Ooh, more whip. More whip power. I will take it. Give me all the whips, daddy. I'm not even into whip play. But I can learn. <laughs> uh... Thank you for humoring me, Winter. It would have been even more awkward otherwise. <laughs> I think I should find some time today to go ahead and set up Meow Face on my phone or my tablet. So I can get better, more realistic expressions by using something that totally clones the iFace mocap thing from Apple. Now I don't need to buy an Apple product. <laughs> We're getting so close to 200 followers on Twitch. On Twitch, I am of excite. We're at 171 right now. I did say I was going to do something special for follower two for follower two hundred. Not sure yet. I'm not really sure what yet, but I need to think of something. Yay! I think my six month anniversary is also coming up fairly soon. Coming up in May, in fact. So that's gonna be exciting. Oh man, am I gonna die again? Please no. I guess you do need to try a little bit in this game if you want to last past 15 minutes. I'm already at less than half health, and it's only been seven. Which is very concerning. More garlic! I can't get the phrase Garlic Moon Saga 
out of my head, even though it makes no sense. The brain power is dodging? Yeah, it seems like the big brain move. I'm also kind of paranoid that my computer is going to freeze up again. Because it did that yesterday, and I really hope that's not a sign of my graphics card starting to fail again. I got a month, but then again, I did have a podcast last night which lasted like four hours with no trouble. So maybe it will be just fine. <laughs> Man, actually, upgrading the whip does a shit ton of damage, doesn't it? Look at that. They're just... Which I guess makes sense. It's the anti-vampire whip, right? I'm not turning into a PowerPoint yet. That's good to know. <laughs> whip. Whip it good. <laughs> I probably should invest IO. I should probably invest in exper more experienced thing gummy what's or experience boosters. Hey, I can kill bats now. The big bats. Oh shit. Damn it. The small bats pushed the big bats into me. Ah. Oh well. Once more with feeling. Once more with feeling. We're gonna keep Don't worry, we'll get it eventually, I'm sure. I read Dairy Plant as Dairy Planet. Planet of the Dairies. A planet of cows and milk. Actually, uh... Dancer, were you- or not- Winter, were you here when we were visiting the Dairy Planet? If I end up dying in this level again, we'll go ahead and visit there next so you can see what it's like. It's very interesting. It's like a sudden genre shift. A sudden abrupt genre shift. Enough with milk and honey. Oh, not live? Okay. Wait, I think- did I play it when I was uh, streaming in Discord the other day? I guess I did. <laughs> boom. Boom, boom. More garlic. Give me more garlic. Give me more garlic. This stupid blue colored bat. Come on, die. I need you to die. I know you have goodies inside you. I want whatever is inside you. Ha! Ah, thank you. It listened to me. Let's use the axe. I haven't used the axe in a while. And let's get some Santa water as well. <laughs> I get it now. I think I have to kill as many bosses in order to get more treasures and to drop larger experience gems. So I can more easily and quickly gain experience points with which i can get more weapons and skills in a quicker pace see i'm learning i had to turn the brain on my brain is slowly booting up maybe i'll even have enough brain power to actually finish one of those drawings i started on stream <laughs> maybe let's not get too ahead of ourselves right oh god Ooh. <laughs> He's starting to believe. You know it. I think I have uh, enough weapons as it is. So I'm just going to start focusing all my skill points on powering up the stuff I currently have. So that I can actually out damage the enemy moving forward and actually progress. There we go. Oh, 
Oh, now I throw two axes. Yeah, I should probably get the next XP rate up that pops up. Because it's becoming quite obvious now that I do not gain XP nearly quickly enough to maintain my trend. Or I can just purchase more garlic. Always purchase more garlic. Oh look, food. <laughs> oh, another another bat. I need to consume this bat. Come over here, bat. There's no escape from me. I'm gonna whip you to submission. Come on, come on. Why you no know, die faster? There we go. Thank you. Indeed they are. Indeed they are. <laughs> they also swing in a fairly wide arc, so they hit a lot of mooks in the process. More garlic! I have decided not to get the Bible in favor of more garlic. Garlic is overpowered anyway. Well, no, it's not overpowered. I take that back. Uh, more whip. More whip. <laughs> I love how the scent of water just falls off screen. Hey, Vim boy, how are you two this morning? <laughs> More garlic. Oh, how are you to see this at midnight then? <laughs> awesome. Glad to hear you're doing great. <laughs> Always glad to hear you're doing great, actually. Um, I'm very sleepy. When I crawled out of bed this morning, I could not think of what form of art I wanted to do today. I just wanted to do something incredibly low power that didn't require any brain juice whatsoever, and that turned out to be Vampire Survivors. I'm also trying to assure myself that yesterday's um, hard freeze with Vampire Survivors, Survivors was a fluke, and that it's not going to continue happening moving forward. Otherwise, we are going to have a problem. <laughs> and it's been 48 minutes so far on stream. Uh, we have not crashed yet. Knock on wood. I've been checking my... Been checking my bar... My graphs here. And so far, it looks like the underclock is being maintained properly. Otherwise, I'm okay. I was a little bit nervous about yesterday's uh, podcast... Other than that, I think everything is fine. Oh, ouch. Ram proms. I'm sorry to hear that. Um, well, the podcast turned in a... About three-fourths of the way through, the podcast turned in a political direction, which uh, brought up some things that I normally don't discuss with in public, um, and for good reason. So... Always kind of afraid of how people are going to interpret that, that sort of thing. I mean, the show host was very understanding and they asked a couple questions that were a, the sort of things that gave me like a hard stop with where like, I will definitely refuse to answer anything about this and they understood so we stopped there and tried to talk about other things. But for the first, um... For the first half or so, we had some very interesting discussions that I was more than happy to answer. Yeah. It's just one of those things where um, there should have been a lot bit more preparation 
like for instance i was informed by some other people in discord in our discord that usually in the shows like this they provide you the list of questions first instead of just asking you to uh think about them while on the spots basically removes you from being on the spot but oh well thanks <laughs> It was a rather long stream, so I wasn't sure uh, what questions people were around for. It seems like everyone was around for a different set of questions. <laughs> Thanks for running ahead, Pats. <laughs> I'm starting to die again, aren't I? Need more experience points. Or failing that... Roast chicken. I don't know either how we even... Maybe we're just kind of segued because I think we are discussing... Uh... Being misidentified race-wise through our voice. Because I think that might have been where we started, where it came from. Because I brought up like... Where people um, basically mis or basically assume a lot of things about me from the way I type and the way I sound online, which are not even remotely close to reality. I think that's where it may have came from. But I'm not too sure. Um, I don't know. It was kind of <laughs> I'll have to re, re watch the uh, vods to see uh, to point out where things start, but I mean eh yeah, that's exactly the thing that is true <laughs> there are some people who would disagree with you, but I feel that that's how it should be on the internet, you can be whatever the hell you want. So why would I choose to be what I am? Why would I choose to form an identity based off what I look like and what how I am in meat space when I can be something completely different? And there's some level of discourse and arguments as far in the VTuber space about some people create avatars that are based off of what that they claim are based off of themselves in real in the real world and others creates obviously fictional avatars, right? In my opinion, the inter the self that you put on for in the entertainment industry such as this is always going to be fictional to some degree because you're going to be you're keeping up you're keeping up appearances. You're not going to be acting the way you do in public the same way you would with close friends. It's just it's not something that people do. And the people that claim they act the same way, they say act the same way with everyone and everything, often tend to be the same people that get in trouble for having no filter. Yeah, this is your output. <laughs> More garlic! I will output additional garlic. I must exude garlic. I'm not exuding enough garlic. I can't kill the bats. I need more damage. I need more damage. I need more damage. <laughs> I'm fighting with the garlic. I wonder if the amount of times the garlic actually damages people is also attached to weapon cooldown. I bet you if I slay that giant praying mantis, I'm going to get some cool stuff. Oh, but it's kind of difficult to... S Slay the giant mantis when I'm being surrounded by bats. Stupid bats. Well, staying stuck in the circle of plant-based death is also not a good idea, so let's get out of that really quick. I like how the plants are actually actively preventing... The praying mantis and the bats from escaping. So I have a little bit of breathing room. It's not much, but it'll do. Something tells me that praying mantis is probably going to one-shot me if I let it, though. So I better 
uh, move out of the way. Is there any roast chicken hiding in these? There is. Thank you. No! It's the Skelly Boys. Thankfully, I can run through the Skelly Boys through a... Oh, actually, I'm strong enough now to kill the Skelly Boys, so that's not so bad. Do I get axes or do I get more whip? It looks like I can max it. Whip maxes out at 8, so we'll get more whip. Cool. We actually survived to 11 minutes this time, which is also cool. <laughs> cool whip. I've not eaten cool whip in so long. I have a sudden craving for cool whip. Up, <laughs> oh, um, the skellies are pushing. It looks like the skellies are slowly are pushing this praying mantis towards me. I can max out. I've maxed out garlic. Cool. Garlic max. <laughs> Eleven minutes now. The game is actually starting to lag, but not too much. It looks like my uh, bar, my graphs, my uh, graphics card's doing A-OK -okay at the moment. Wait, if I can just, if I'm strong enough to where I can just kill Skellies on touch, maybe I should go left instead of right. Yes, yes, yes. This is delicious. Ah, oh, I got the wings. I can escape, escape the furries, escape the werewolves. Go for the treasure chest. Now we're doing better. It just only took losing quite a few times to reach this point, right? Alright. In before it gets killed by werewolves anyway. I need more damage bonuses because if I don't do enough damage to kill the wolves, we are still going to have a problem. Or I could max out Laurel. Or I can get Crown because it's getting hard to get experience points. Let's get Crown. All damage is boosted. Boost all the damages. Mm hmm. Magnet is credit to team. Need more uh, damage now. I will not rest until I see every furry drone before me, or at least these particular fur these furries in particular. Hey look, ghosts. The ghosts are no match for me now. They literally are allergic to garlic and I am killing them on touch. Oh god, oh god, oh, oh. Okay. 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 Um Yeah, axe. Give me the axe. Woo! I'm dying. I'm dying. Oh. Stormy is about to die unless he could clutch it. Oh, no, 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 I made it. I think, oh, God, no. No, I'm not. I'm not the woods yet. Get it? Woods? Huh. Oh shit. I need to go towards the treasure chest. It's my only hope. Look at all these experience points just waiting to be collected. Be oh, I got some uh, roast chicken as well. More treasure. I love the noise, the uh, music they play when you open treasure chests. <laughs> yeah, it's a tough time, but someone's got to do it. No! I'm not strong enough to kill the bats! Oh. I didn't- wasn't doing enough damage. On the bright side, I got 630 gold, so we can use that- we can spend that on something now. I don't have enough to buy might. But I can purchase a new character. Permanent plus 25 pickup radius and third neck nigger 30 health. Uh plus one projectiles. All the weapons or I'm gonna I can't I can't purchase a spooky skeleton yet. 
750. Who am I going to play next? I split. Uh, hmm. I don't know who I want to play next. I did make it further, that's correct. But can we go even further beyond plus ultra? Let's see and find out. This is to go further beyond plus ultra. Or is it to go even further beyond? Something like that. Something or another. Give me the garlics. Boku no Hero Castlevania. Boku no Castlevania. Boku no Herovania. <laughs> Actually, I think I combined Dragon Ball Z with here no, with uh, Boku no uh, Hero Academia just now. Because to go even further beyond is actually from is actually something Goku says, and this. Is to go even further beyond. Ah, I'm done. <laughs> I preach. Ow! Ow! Did you have to throw a slipper at me? <laughs> You're so abusive. <laughs> Uh, you like that, huh? <laughs> I'm glad you're enjoying yourself. Wiggle, 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 We go, 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 we go. We go, 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 we go. Additional garlic. Additional experience, for that matter. King Bible. Bible King. <laughs> I should probably purchase some attractive orbs too, so I don't need to physically uh, touch the gems to actually pick them up, because that's also part of my problem. I'm not collecting all the gems I could be collecting, because I have to move around based on my own personal safety. I say is I buy more damage boosting equipment. Now that I know that the blue creatures uh, give me more stuff, I need to focus killing them in particular. Especially blue bla blue bats don't do much except sit around waiting to die. Um, so they should be fairly easy to bully. I would think. Could this be my famous last words? Hopefully not. Bully, bully, bully. Bully, 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 bully. Sniggity snoot. Ah, that was totally worth it. Just like thought. Aha! 
Uh, do I get more garlic or do I get more XP boostings? Hmm. We're only three minutes in. More garlic. More base damage. We need all the damage, cat. We got to max out. We got to go all damage, all the time, except for right then, which is more experience. Time stop. Get some gold. It's time to absolutely molest the shit out of everyone here while they have cannot do anything about it. And they're all dead. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Uh, do I get more crowns? Sure. Fuck it. Alright. So now I should be gaining experience at a unholy... Wink. <laughs> unholy rate. Uh, I... These are not... Do you see? These are not people. These are inanimate objects and also ghosts. Um, I'm not specious. I swear. Do I get the attract... I get the attract orb. Fuck it. <laughs> Those are a lot of torches in one place. Cry not for the skelly person. They're not even they're not even people. They are merely skeletons. Did you know that there? And for all you know, there might be a skeleton within each and every one of us. You can never be too sure, you know. Not everyone is a roving sack of. Uh, flesh like myself. Except slimes. That's very true. That's very true. Expect slimes. And accept slimes. 81 gold. Oh, for some reason I got four of them. Oh, never mind. I do not have four of them after all. These uh, little banshee green look, sick, sickly colored looking peoples do be giving me a trouble. You know, for a cyberpunk VTuber, I haven't been playing much cyberpunk, many cyberpunk games lately. So I think when I finish one of the games I currently have on the docket, I'm going to try and beat, I'm going to try and play through all the data all of the Deus Ex games again, starting with Human Revolution. Human Revolution, as much as I enjoy it, is I kind of played through several times, stopped, played through again several times, stopped, and just kept going like that. Open it. Have I seen Ghostwire? I've seen it, but I have not uh, played it. What's Ghostwire about? <laughs> uh, cyberpunk about dead people? Cyber dead people? Sounds interesting. <laughs> A lot of slender people, huh? Well, I do enjoy a good slender person. I may just have to check it out, after all. Reduce weapon cooldowns. You know, King Bible is actually pretty good. Especially when it's powered up.
It's a good thing I got some of those attract orbs after all. Slowly crawling and destroying the enemy. Finally maxed out this one. So now I can focus on literally any other spell. Oh, the game was really starting to slow down for a second there. We're good though. Now I'm just evaporating the enemy. I love it. Now, if I could just evaporate the bats, that would be great. And I'm starting to die again, aren't I? Got a little too cocky for my own good there. That bat has stuff that I need. Girl, you got what you need, what I need. But you say I'm just a friend. You say I'm just a friend. <laughs> More holy bibles? <laughs> awesome. Uh, need to kill that bat as well for good stuff. Oh, God. Nine minutes. We're at nine minutes, chat. How far will we go this time? Oh, I'm strong enough to kill the big bats now. That's good. If I play my cards right, I might even actually get to 20 minutes this time. I really need food, though. I really need food. Let's go, chat! Oh, it's the Praying Pant Mentis again. And I don't have any shields, so I can't just... Whoop, whoop, YOLO! Hey, that actually worked. I was afraid that because I didn't put any points into shield, I wouldn't be able to do that this time. Should I get more health, or...? Increase your luck for a chance to get four choices? Uh, I guess the game is telling me something. <laughs> get favor for the RNG gods, yes indeed. They want me to sacrifice a kid and half one and two of my limbs to get them. Oh, would you look at that? That was a four leaf clover just now. Uh, I wonder if that praying mantis is gonna die in time for me too. Oh god, here come the skellies. I must punch my way through the skellies to escape. Alternative. Oh, actually no. My garlic shield's so strong I could literally walk through the skellies. Well, you know what? If, if it works. Aha! I could do that too. Do I max out garlic or fire more projectiles? More projectiles. More base damage. More damage, high area scaling. Fire all of the axes. Oh, the praying mantis almost got pushed into me. That could have gone very bad just now. I feel like I'm playing with fire staying as close to the praying mantis. Yeah, we made it past 10 minutes. Good point. 
There's a treasure chest down there. There's two of them. I really want those treasure chests. But I know for a fact that trying to go down there right now is probably a bad idea. You know? It's just, just the, um, just the, uh, feeling. But what if I go through them and into them? Alright, alright. No! The werewolves are cock blocking me from the treasure chest. There we go. Ooh, that's a real good one. Here we go! Two of those? These are pretty good. A lot of gold, too. Um, evolved magic wand. Fires with no delay. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's fire. <laughs> it's just machine gunning. <laughs> There's so many of them firing. <laughs> So much spam. So much spam. Oh. I'm actually firing. <laughs> Look. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> Shit. I have them so powerful. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! This is this is amazing. <laughs> Evolved magic wand is way up. <laughs> oh, big furry stands no chance against big waifu. Oh my god, I'm, they're, they're going to shove me to death again, if I'm not careful. Do I gain augments, areas, attacks? Uh, hmm. Yeah, better augment the area of attacks. Get more, more splash. More splash. More DOTs, more dots, more dots, more dots. Oh god, this is uh, getting kind of uncomfortable. Personal space, guys. Please. At least I kill things. I fire fast enough to kill werewolves now. But there's a few too many werewolves for my uh, taste. I can only take so much werewolf uh, <clears throat> at one time, you know. Hey, time stop. Good. I, I needed that, actually. <laughs> oh yeah garlic <laughs> those blue bats have have treasure chests and or additional goodies that I need they need they must die somehow oh man actually i need to go back upstairs and get all the experience points that i missed i just need to turn around very carefully there we go i successfully managed to circumvent the horde i made it to 15 minutes it looks like or i'm about to What's going on here? Oh no 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 no! This is this is too much. This is too much. I must escape to the north. Up! Uh, I made it. <laughs> I have like no health. <laughs> How am I still alive? I need health. Yes. Man, I am so lucky right now. Ah. Uh, do more damage. 
Yeah, here's all the uh, experience points that I missed. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. Increase projectile speed. Increase garlic. Increase garlic. Hmm. Increase axe. Axe body spray. This is not a sponsored stream. Oh great, now the game is spamming praying mantises at me. That's that's just great. <laughs> Good thing I do so much damage now though. Alright. This bat must die. This bat must die so he can feed me his treasure chest within him. Or his red experience, whichever comes first. Yeah, just a bit, you know. <laughs> More projectile speed. Hopefully... Uh, more garlic? I can max out garlic, can't I? That's true. <laughs> uh... Yeah, I need to get more damage boosters somehow. So I can keep up with all these enemies popping up. Good thing I keep getting all these treasure chests. Now that I know where to get the treasure chest, it's been a little bit easier. Ooh, more Tractorb. Is my voice too loud again? I'm going into the yellow zone, it looks like. Maybe some talking a little bit louder. Let's uh, lower volume slightly. Ah? Uh... Ah? Uh... There we go. There we go, there we go. <laughs> oh, mummies! Audio is good? Okay. Glad to hear. Haha, <laughs> get it? Glad to hear. Uh, that was a terrible joke. Why did I say that? Right, it looks like I might be able to just plow my way through to the, to the east and get all the experience that I missed. That's a big-ass werewolf. How did I not know? Damn it. How'd that happen? I got some two, some achievements, though. Get magic magic wand to level 7. Evolve the magic wand. Obtain 500 gold. Find a little clover. Aww. Three unlocks. Alright, alright. So I got 17... 1,772 gold. What do I use it on? Hmm. I can probably get all the speed, right? Or I can get magnets, too. Or, better yet, uh, better yet, I could purchase another character. It looks like purchasing new characters um, actually every 20 levels. Looks like purchasing new characters gets more expensive each time, though. So I could probably go without getting new characters for a while. Instead, I should be focusing on these buffs. Hmm. <laughs> Hmm. Choices, choices. 
I should probably get things that make the game, the uh, early game easier for me. So that would be growth, right? Yeah, that would be growth. Alright. Who are we playing as this time? This can get kind of crazy. <laughs> this is such a slow moving weapon though. Hmm. Can I play this game without garlic? Or will the game smite me for my hubris? Let's just get nothing but projectile weapons this time. See what happens. <laughs> We're gonna try and do a garlicless run this time. See what happens. Hmm. Let's get across as well. At least three weapons should be good, right? Was really dumb. I wasn't paying attention then. Because yes, I am starting to pay attention just a little bit in this game. Do a little bit better. <laughs> I wonder how much health these glowy bats have anyway. Sure is taking a while to kill him. More firepower. More firepower. Do I get the whip? Where do I get Santa water this time? Santa water. Since I'm playing a character that apparently speeds up projectiles each time you level up, it seems like it would behoove me to- Oh shit! Maybe going without garlic was actually a bad idea after all. Oh my god. Clover. Eh. Wow, I died in two minutes. Shit. <laughs> Let's try it again. I can do better. Yeah, rip. I think that was the shortest run I've had so far in this game. Yeah, we probably do need some garlic after all. Garlic is too much of a credit to team. I need garlic, but I don't think I need the shield. The shield is, I thought, would be more necessary than it actually was. So we'll start, we'll get a little bit of garlic. Just enough to, you know, actually kill these hordes of roving bats.
Eh, Santa water. But it's in the hordes. End stage um, Santa water is also kind of disgusting. So I want some of that goodness. Almost had end stage renal failure for a second there. Oh look, another treasure bat. Let's kill the treasure bat. I really wish the firepower would shoot the treasure bat instead of shooting into the air at nothing, you know? Ah, there we go. Thank you. I don't know why we're getting Santa bath water. It is a mystery. More Santa water. Santa spirit bath water. Uh, should I get clover early on? I guess so. Since it's still early game. <laughs> Santa man bath water. Put some points into Picho in as well. <laughs> ah. Ooh, more clover. There's been I've been finding a lot of clover lately, actually. Wonder what's up with that. Or Santa water. Fire wand. Spinach. Oh, look, there's some food over there. <laughs> Spinach is good for you. Always eat your veggies. And more fire wand. Gonna max out fire wand in a minute here. Another blue bat, right for the taking. Give me your treasure chest. Give me the treasure chest. Give me the treasure chest. Preferably before I get swarmed by skellies. No! My addiction to treasure chest is probably going to get me killed. I'm calling it now. More Pichon. Uh, there we go. I don't do enough damage to the skellies to kill them. This is problematic. More fire damage. and they tracked over pretty soon actually oh man I'm kind of concerned about my survivability right now just a just a little bit ah time stop
Man, Fire One's actually pretty strong at this point, which I guess that's kind of the point, right? That's what I was going for. But still, I didn't expect it to be able to just evaporate the green boys so easily. <laughs> Good feel, though. Come on, fire! I really need more weapon cooldown abilities as well. Would be very helpful. In the meanwhile though, we'll get some spinach. Need to increase base damage of everything. Not looking so good. There we go. That feels like Picho and just shoots whatever it likes with no rhyme or reason. Hmm, money bags. I'm glad there are some solid objects in this game that I could actually. Uh, juke the enemies around. Have a good night, Winter. Thank you for stopping by. I'll purchase all the garlic just for you. Good night. <clears throat> garlic and roast chicken. What a combination. <laughs> no! I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> Okay, maybe that was not such a good idea after all. <laughs> That's okay. I do more damage now. <laughs> do, 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 do. The things I do for church chess, I swear. I find this time more magic ones. <laughs> oh man, computer kind of froze up a little bit there for a split second.
Just a split second there. Okay, I really need garlic. <laughs> but I haven't spawned any recently. For what some reason. I guess I got King Bibles. Which is not the same thing, but it's better than nothing. I'm gonna get eaten by a raving horde of bats here if I'm not in this second. Oh, no, 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 no. The word to the left. The problem with these auto-firing weapons is that I can't really aim. So when I'm trying to do something like killing a torch to get chickens, it doesn't respond like I want it to. And that becomes a serious problem. I still like that I can actually play this game one-handed. In fact, that's all I've been doing so far. Here's the other hand, though. <laughs> Why is there no chicken spawning? Lily liver chicken dinners. Give me your treasure chest. That's not a treasure chest, but it'll do. Oh my. <laughs> hand check, hand check. My other hand is on the keyboard. I cannot remove the other hand. At least not right now. <laughs> more, more, more. I can't believe I've not run into any garlic so far this run. Scuffed run is scuffed. It's very scuffed. Well, if I can't shoot my way out, I'll just need to survive long enough to not die. Ow. Oh my god. Oh man, I'm starting to try hard this game now. <laughs> RNG was not in well, not in my favor that time anyway. Honestly. Not at all. some Santa waters. Uh, 
<sighs> it's a really slow weekend. I feel still a little bit half dead on the inside, to be honest. Not entirely sure why. I guess I'm just kind of fatigued. It's been a long week. I have a lot on the mind. At the moment, anyway. Once again, with the lack of garlic, making it difficult to get through those bat zones, if not impossible. Man, I'm gonna die again. At this rate, unfortunately. Really need more chicken as well, please. Game, give me the chicken. Come on. Ah, for fuck's sake. <laughs> there we go. I need that for a while. RNG has not been nice to me recently. Yes, I'm still a little bit salty about not having found any garlic yet. Whereas in previous games, I've found nothing but garlic. Sometimes. At least there's plenty of torches here to be found. There we go. Once more into the breach.
Oh, thank god, a chest. Hey, K6. Thanks for the bits. How are you this morning? Monkey. Indeed. 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 Kind of operating on fewer brain cells than usual right now. That's why I'm playing this really low brain power game at the moment. How am I supposed to play if I can't see? What have you done? What have you done? Ah! Oh, thank goodness it's gone. Oh, well, go. speed up by 10%. There's so much garbage flying in. I don't have any garlic so I can't pass through the flying bats. Alonath is probably still here. It's still in, it's only evening where they're at. Why do you ask? <laughs> oh man. I think I played this game a little too much. Uh, I'm not interested in playing Minecraft anymore, to be honest, so I've been avoiding it. Also, just realized that my hand. Oh, there they are. I thought my hands were broken for a second. I have not tried play, playing Super Mario on stream. I guess I could do that sometime. Been meaning to play one of my old Nintendo games on stream for a while anyway. Honestly. <laughs> I have tried play Raid Shadow Legends. I don't care for it that much to be honest. A few VTuber friends have gotten sponsorship deals with Raid of Shadow Legends, so I've made an account a couple times to get them some free money. But beyond that, I, don't really, I really don't care for Raid Shadow Legends. It's very jank as far as games go, as far as uh, mobile games go. Time stop. I do know what Raid Shadow Legends is. That's why I said I don't play it, because I don't care for the gameplay. Uh, that's fine, you don't need to tell me about Raid Shadow Legends. Why don't you instead tell me about uh, the award-winning Final Fantasy XIV that now comes with the Heavensward expansion included 
and lets you play for free up to level 60. <laughs> Well, if you insist. No? How about yes? <laughs> I'm actually thinking about resubscribing to Final Fantasy XIV and playing that on stream a couple times, occasionally. But much of my gameplay is really just going to be role-playing and grinding. So I'm not sure if I'll be able to dedicate as much time talking to chat as I otherwise would. Unlike other games like this, where this is very low-brained, low I don't need to think about playing this game. Hmm, cool. What class and or race do you play, uh, Venboy? I play as a cute little R, R cleric. But, Cat Girl Scholar, cute. <laughs> yeah, I have not played since uh, Shadowbringers, I think I released. No, it was more recent than that, I think. And I really like the game, I just can't ded couldn't dedicate the time to it that I was previously. And now with this full VTubing thing, I'm not sure when I'm going to find time to play it, except maybe on the weekends. But I need my weekends to do stuff that is not related to video games or VTubing. I don't want to burn out of video gaming again like I did at one point. That would be terrible. Do they look, um, what? Lower resolution? <laughs> that is not just you. One can even say it may have been by design. Wink. Submissive and breathable, submersive and memeable. I love that meme. The thing and what else is new? <laughs> oh, thank you. I'm glad you think so. Shit, which one do I choose? Um, let's try an Axe Head Room Tracer. Enjoy yourself. Make sure you clean up afterwards. Ta-da! More rune tracers. Just what the doctor ordered. <laughs> Duplicator. Uh... 
Aha. Uh -huh. Reduce weapon cooldown so I could spam these things. That's the first time I actually took damage this round. I think. Reduce all cooldowns again. Fire more room chasers, please. More garlic. You've been rethinking your life? So what have you been thinking about? Regarding your life, I mean. Yeah, that's a good point. I know I've done my share of impulsive, dumb decisions before. Oh, shit. <laughs> I'm starting to feel like you having a garlic shield, at least one garlic shield, is always going to be necessary in this game. Or something. I just realized that the stone mask reference in the level in the uh, in the stage description was probably a JoJo reference. It just occurred to me because I thought to myself, "What does a stone mask have it to do with anything?" And then I thought about it, and I was like, "Oh, that's probably what I was referring to." <laughs> what a cad. That green knee boy sure has a lot of health. When is he going to die? Come on. There we go. Dude. Need more of those. Crushed. More garlic, or do I get empty tombs? More garlic. Mm, definitely more garlic. <laughs> oh my god.
more re cooldown reduction. And magic wand. <clears throat> or do I get axes now? Eh, yeah, more of these. Just start spamming the shit out of the uh, rune tracers all over the place. Eh, don't really need a track orb. Do I dare get a duplicator or do I get more experience? More duplicator. More garlic. Treasure chests. Mm. There we go. Beautiful. Ah, I should have not picked this up. I might need this later, you know? I'm sure it'll be more where they came from, at the very least. Need to gather more experience. Okay, what do I need this kind of fire one? Oh my god. Game is actually starting to lag, believe it or not. That's kind of messed up.
Ah, there's the teeming horde. I was wondering when y'all were gonna show up. Let's go this direction, shall we? Maybe yeah, I should have gone in the track door after all. It's getting kind of difficult to pick all these things up without s slowly going up and down, up and down, up and down. The game's actually starting to lag too. That's kind of wild. I could see someone go jumping in the stream looking at this and going like, what the fuck am I looking at? Because I don't know either. That's for damn sure. <laughs> and leave that chicken there in case I need it. I need it. Uh, maxed out sand of water as well. Awesome. Hmm. There we go. My tracked orb. A Medusa. Oh my. Thank you. <laughs> Feels good, man. Oh my goodness, what is that? Uh, fire... Evolved King Bible never ends. Awesome. Insane, in fact. Damn near invincible. Then again, I said that last time, didn't I? One second, chat. Just uh, saving something really quick. Alright, continue. I don't know why, but I find the library level so much easier than the forest level. Probably so it's easier to exploit, I guess. <laughs> and back to the witches level. Or one to where I fight witches, I should say. Binder. You're not leaving as much experience points either, which is kind of doing me a concern, you know? I wonder how long I can just chill here and waiting for that wait for them to come to me. As much stuff as I got going on. Oh, now it's time to go. But otherwise, I can just chill here for a while, couldn't I? Um, I see. Game is encouraging, is trying to give me a notification that I should probably move. Probably. But thanks to my spinning books, it looks like they can't even get close to me. And that's amazing. I am too powerful for you all. I should probably activate Steam Overlay while playing this, huh? 
Nah. Who needs it? Still wild though. Excellent gameplay. 10-10. Game of the year. It's even just like the best kind of idle game. It's not even really an idle game. I just have reached such a point in this game where I've managed to break the code. Also, my RNG is great. Not even that boss witch can get close to me. She's just literally being stopped by a roving hail of, like, books. I'll go ahead and get this, though. Oops, uh... What in the world is that? An evolved... Oh, this must be the evolved Santa water. Labora. Labora Bora. <sighs> Just to give you all a heads up. We're not going to have a stream on Monday, so I'll be celebrating my mother's birthday. But we will continue where we left off on Wednesday and Friday. And Saturday. Let's see if I can go to bed a little bit earlier on Friday so that I can better prepare what I'm going to do the following morning. Or something like that. Hmm. I guess it's time to move. Max that out. And let's get going. Just a wave of walking death. Increase base area by another 10%. minutes and be breaking my previous record fairly soon unless the game breaks me first which hit me you never know the further you get the game always pops out some new surprises for you goodies do we get this time? Ooh, what's this? A skull? Evolved fire wand passed through enemies. Requires spinach. <laughs> oh my god. That's a meteor strike at that point. Big green boy coming up. He's just kind of being stun locked to death there. Looks like I have the secret sauce. Another attract orb? Cool. Make should be easier. Make things easier now on me. To pick up thing uh, pick up all this trash I'm leaving behind. Not even the skulls can kill me. Oh my goodness. Um, oh wow, um, that wave of... Shit, yeah, I'm kind of broken now. Increase the range of my things even further, game. I 
Am I running out of... I am running out. <laughs> I'm pretty much maxed out, more or less. Or about to max out, I should say. Level 58. Beautiful. Industrial lights and magic has nothing on this. Now take a screenshot of this as well. I think I am endangering myself every time I do that, so I should be more careful. Good thing I have so much food just laying around. Clock lines it. Checked orb. Thank you. Gonna max out the clock lancet pretty soon, it looks like. Before we get the next chest, let's go ahead and collect all this junk really fast. Shall we? Did I mix it out already? Wow. I guess I did. Who'd have thought? I think the, the audio is starting to blow behind the game itself. Good grief, there's so much crap on screen now. Don't need that for sure. Oh. Hmm. Awesome! It was a super treasure chest, no less. And I just get nothing but money bags now. Awesome. I guess I must have maxed out at this point in the game. Yeah, I must have maxed out. Level 66. How much further can we go, chat? How much further can we go? Find him to just sit here. This would make a great live to a live wallpaper or something. Cause that's kind of obscene.
I also love how the Santa water just never stops now. This creates a giant roving wall of death. I didn't even need the shield this time. I just got the garlic. I just got the books. And the, oh, is that death himself? This is the first guy that's been strong enough to actually penetrate my Bible shield. I guess it's time to actually move again. Other than that, I'm- Oh, and he is dead. And I do mean- Or, re-dead. Undead. Undeadified. Redeadified. Something like that. More money. More money, more problems. Alright. Let's move around and get some experience. <laughs> so much money. Level 72. And everyone is frozen in time. There's no escape for me now. Oh, I actually took damage. I must have gotten a little cocky there. That's okay. We will simply have to rectify that, won't we? That Medusa is looking dummy thick. Now she's dummy dead. Oh, it's nothing but Medusas, actually. What's up with that? I wonder if they're insta-kill. Like, uh, death untouch. Let's be careful, just to be safe. As it is, I am already so overpowered that they're probably not going to get past my shield, but you never know. This is definitely like a reverse Toho game. Except I am the Toho now. And y'all are Reimus. Twenty-seven minutes. Could this be the first time we actually reach ha the half an hour mark in this game? Looks like it might be a yes. Oh man. Oh, that was close. I think they actually managed to touch me just then. If I get too hasty, they're going to be able to overpenetrate the shield after all. So let's not get too hasty. 28 minutes. We're going places. Let's try to get at least a level 80 or something. Oh no, that's a boss. How'd you get past the... There we go. More money bags. More money, more proms. Yeah, I actually took damage. What is not being killed by my wave of death? Or rather, not being killed fast enough. It's kind of spooky. Actually. Is it the Beholders? Hmm. If I go slowly, I think they die quickly enough, but...
Oh man. Now the game is really brought in the big guns, it looks like. If I go slowly enough, they're spamming the boss characters now, but if I go slowly enough, even the bosses won't be able to stop me. I might actually make it to 20 to 30 minutes. 30 seconds! Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Oh, whoa, shit! Death himself has come to fight. Has come to part. Party. Uh, death himself is being time stopped. Oh shit! Dang, I thought I could make it. But he somehow broke through the time stopping. <laughs> First thing, time for everything, I suppose. Defeat the Nesiferate in the Inlaid Library. Evolve the Santa Water. Evolve the King Bible. Evolve the Fire Wand. Unlock Hyper Mode any normal stage. Defeat a total of 3,000 lion heads. Defeat the Nesophoretan. Yeah. Well, that's fun. I should probably have taken a picture of that, huh? Well, I had it on stream. That's close enough, right? We got about half an hour left of the stream today. <laughs> I gotta reach level 60 in Dairy Plant. I'll reach level 100 in Mortatio. Hmm, got to spend. Let's go ahead and buy some characters. This person sounds interesting. It's a panda bear. Yes. And that's a skelly boy. That's an old man. And this is uh, a manly man. Let's go ahead and power up. We are going to... Hmm. I can't purchase this anymore. But if I get some more gold, I can. Can also buy this. There we go. We're gonna play as the panda bear. Gets more projectiles every twenty levels. That's insane. We need to get level sixty here. But I want to beat Mad Forest at least once. Maybe if I could use the same concept that I got from Mad Forest, I'd be able to... What the hell is that? Oh. Huh. That's interesting. Wait. It's exploding? I'm playing as a panda bear. I don't... I don't understand what's occurring right now. I hope I have good RNG, though. This is fair RNG, I suppose. 
we'll start with the book. And the thing is, and luckily I know how to use the book, so in order to get the evolutionized book, I would need to get Spellbinder later. Some danger zones going on here. <laughs> this game always starts out so innocent, and then you figure out what you're doing, and it just becomes beautiful. This is not looking good for us, chat. Actually doing terrible this round. It's still weird how I'm actually not that good at the very first level, but I managed to cheese the shit out of the second one just fine. Probably doesn't help that his hitbox is really big and I'm really slow. So that's what it is a cherry bomb. I'm about to die. Unless I could find some food somewhere. That seems very unlikely right now, unfortunately. Yeah. This might be a dead run already. Need a lot more than cherry bombs, unfortunately, to keep us alive. Ah, <laughs> oh, my experience growth is so slow, God. This is horrible. I got more of these. Yeah, 
That was kind of a mess. I feel like I can actually do it with the panda bear. It's just the start is rough. With nothing but a cherry bomb. But I would love to get more projectiles. Thank you very much. It's also weird how not every tree bomb explodes. I don't get what's up with that. Guess we'll be needing this after all. not every cherry bomb exploding that's so strange Better to end on a good note with that previous game, huh? We'll see where this leads us. All in all, it was an enjoyable experience, all the same. garlic. Always got to have the garlic. Better jerry bombs? Yes, please. Bigger ones, it looks like.
Need to increase my experience gain somehow. Die, die, die. Good morning, Recoil. How are you today? Oh, great crap. I'd much prefer to end the stream on doing a little bit better than seven minutes, but... I guess you only get to be great once. You're bra for fuck's sake. Oh my god. Gop and eight. I need to grab some food myself, actually. I'm stubborn. I want to do well in this stuff in the first level at least once. Plus one projectile, all weapons. Gets more projectiles every 20 levels, except this one throws bones at people. I got up a little bit late today from when I'm supposed to get up, and as a result, I did not really know what I was going to do with today, and decided to just play some Vampire Survivor instead of doing any art. A marked change from usual. You know what, let's fuck around to find out. I'm just going to choose these spells that I don't usually choose to see if, any, if I get anything out of them. Like Pentagram. Even though Pentagram doesn't give me any experience, which is really bad. 
playing a scale character, I might as well, right? See what happens. Oh! Well, that was oddly pleasant to watch. Watch it just bounce around everything. <laughs> this is so slow though oh my god okay that was funny i need to get experience faster though so i can purchase more of the skelly bones ability more skelly bones Yeah, be honest, Recall, you kind of uh, popped by near the end of my stream, usual streaming hours. But I'm kind of stubborn, so I'm going to try and just can And I probably won't, will not stop streaming until I die in this next run. So let's hope that I last as long as possible. That fucking pentagram obliterates everything, including the experience. Something tells me this is going to be a really short game. <laughs> Think about baseball. All right, good point. I haven't been to a good baseball game in a while. Ah! If you can dodge a wrench, you can dodge a ball. Fuck it, lightning strikes. I kind of, I can't help but feel that playing as Mortatio is supposed to be a meme because this is such a pain in the ass. Oh, you've got to be shitting me. The bone is so weak it doesn't even break the torches on the fur on one hit. So I can't easily replenish my man, my uh, life by breaking those open. What am I doing? Just throwing my own It only does one damage per hit? No fucking wonder. Yeah, it sounds like I am boned. Am I regaining health slowly over time? No, that's just me. See, that stupid that pentagram is a terrible weapon. Uh, 0 out of 10. It wipes out everything, including experience and the enemies, so... I'm pretty much fucked. At this point, unless I can get, I mean, I'm only level three. Cool. Fuck it. Give me the crop. Give me the boomerangs. Oh my god. This is not how I want to end the stream. <laughs> I want to end the stream on a good note, gameplay-wise. Not getting my ass handed to me by an army of skelly bones. Going after the lone traitor. Fuck it. Okay, let's play one for real this time. I'm not playing the skelly character anymore. <laughs> I want to play as the panda character again, too, but he's really difficult. Permanent plus 25 pickup radius and negative... Okay, let's go see what playing the old guy is like. He, since he starts off with Gardic Shield. <laughs> Gardic Shield is like nece a necessity playing this game, it feels like. I'm sure someone else has found another way to deal with those giant swarms of uh, trash mobs that just try to pummel you into dust. Who knows, maybe I'll end up being here another half for another half an hour because this is actually the meta 
uh, the meta or something. Who knows what will happen, really? So what you up to today, Rico? Or planning to be up to today, I should say. Mm-hmm, come on. I need to kill you so I can steal the treasure chest hiding in your chest. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I can't believe I just played this whole get this game for an entire three hours. Working out, then trying to fix the weight painting on your casual outfit. And then another Gundam Evolution stream. Very nice, very nice. I have not decided on my plan for today just yet, but I might stop by to see how your next Gundam stream goes. You know, it just occurred to me. I forgot to announce this on that I was even streaming today on Twitch or on Twitter, didn't I? Oops. That must be that kind of just shows how tired I am, I guess. Well, no point now, I suppose. Empty Tomb is for... Okay, I understand now. So, the way painting on your casual outfits, do you mean like... Do you mean like you're going to be doing an alteration to it, or how do you mean? I suppose. Short sleeves don't move properly when you move your arm. Okay, that makes more sense. At first, I thought you were like going to be repainting something on the shirt itself, which was kind of hardcore, it sounded like. Ah! So much for healing! Bat, you gotta die so I can open your treasure chest inside you, or you can just give that to me. That works too. Mm -hmm. This supposed to be a plain t shirt? Okay. Makes sense. You know what? I just realized you're probably talking about your avatar, right? You don't mean like a real life t shirt. <laughs> mm 
My bad. <laughs> That's why I was confused. Now, in the context of the term weights, it makes a lot more sense. I was like, weight painting? What, what do you mean by a, a weight of your painting on your shirt? <laughs> but you mean the weight of the shirt as regard with regard to like... Okay, I understand now. I totally get you at this point. Or get you now. About to be eaten by a giant praying mantis. I don't like that. Eat whip though. Hmm, this is actually pretty good so far. I need to increase the base damage of my whip though. But otherwise, not so bad. Mm. The game must have heard me talking shit. And didn't think that I would hear it. Because there we go. More whip damage. What's important is that I keep up the DPS so I can actually kill mo mooks. Otherwise, it's pretty much game over. Time stop. Another time stop, thank you. Wait, how did I die? Uh, this game is also starting to defeat a total of 10,000 enemies and unlock Prochi. Have I really killed 10,000 enemies already? What? How much did they cost? 950? Starts with one revival, gains one more revival at level 33. This game is also making me suffer from just one more game syndrome where you don't want to stop playing. Eh, fuck it, I'll play Gennaro. Is this a knifey guy? He just throws knives at people, I guess. A mantis rushed in? I must have just not been paying attention. I am starting to fall asleep again for some reason. Hey Christian, welcome to the chat. How are you today? I wonder what maxed out... Now nah, we'll max out Clock Lancet again. Clock Lancet was surprisingly useful. Especially for escaping. Really. I wonder how many... I wonder if this would become a Dio reference, because I already saw one Jojo reference in this game. What's... what's another Jojo reference, right? I mean, it's literally a game about vampires, so I'm assuming it was, in fact, intended as a reference. 
Muda, 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 muda. The only problem is knives don't have much in the way of knockback. In fact, they have no knockback at all. In fact. So I'm not sure how to feel about that. Thank you. Ah, yes. Yeah, duplicator. My quality of life has increased substantially when I got it, when I unlocked duplicator. I mean, in the game itself, it it wasn't it wasn't unlocked by default. You had to unlock it so that it could be a randomly spawning ability in game. Muda 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 muda. This is kind of cool, actually. Muda 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 muda. Muda 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 muda. Oh shit. Might be getting a little too into the uh, DO roleplay. Oh shit. Yeah. I need to stop fucking around. I'm so used to using. I mean, homing abilities and. area or area of wave. area effects abilities that I'm starting to endanger myself. But it's so fun! I mean, look at all look at all these uh, knives I'm just throwing at people. I'm also not collecting my experience fast enough. Definitely need at least one point in Laurel. This, at least for this run. So I keep endangering myself. It's a good thing I got the time, the uh, time clock, the uh, time spell after all. There is my next victim. There we go. Now it's a bit dangerous. Just a little bit. Danger close. Yeah, I don't like pentagram. Pentagram can fuck off. I wonder if shield actually made my hitbox smaller, or that was just my imagination. This skill set makes it really difficult to collect experience points compared to earlier. Maybe I should have invested in some attract orbs after all. Mm-hmm. 
<sighs> yeah, I don't know, man. I don't think I like daggers that much. It's fun at first, but it's such a pain to direct and attack people with it. And it doesn't do enough damage, at least not early on, to offset its uh, rate of fire and the amount of projectiles I'm firing. That stupid bad is still alive up to now. Oh, I'm in luck. Thank you. Needed that. Cool, cool, cool. More shields? That's always good, I suppose. I do need a base, da base damage increase, but my pulls, the RNG has not been giving them to me lately. They've been giving me everything else, which is very annoying. I feel like if I got daggers and I also got a base damage increase, um, skill, or level up, that would make this wild. But as it is right now, it's kind of a pain in the ass to use, especially since it's directional. When I'm chasing after bats just to collect their experience points, you know there's something wrong. I wonder how many projectiles I could end up throwing anyway. Look at this. It's funny to watch, but... Muda 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 muda! It does like nothing. Oh, great, and of course the huge bats are here. So, that's th going to be a problem fairly soon. Give me the experience! Okay. Gotta relax. Just gotta relax. The gameplay style is so much different using these weapons. I didn't even realize. I'm not even sure why I'm surprised. That's kind of the point. Why there's stuff I could hide behind? Oh, wait, I'm dumb. What the fuck? Why did I do that? I was so eager to get their treasure that I pretty much injured myself. I think the other problem is, I pretty much just... 
do better and I did so well in the second stage because they don't come from everywhere. They only come from like two directions, left and right. I got an achievement for surviving a certain amount of time with Gennaro and unlocked something. What did I unlock? Bomorallo? Whatever that is. It doesn't even say what that thing was that I... Or was it just an achievement? Well, at least I got some money so I can unlock... Oh, shit. Need more gold to unlock the demon character. Of all these characters, I'm not sure which one would be best for the openness of the that stage. Me, Portaladana? With per plus 30% area. Because she just does this. <laughs> I wonder if I could run a build of doing not using nothing but lightning. Just absolutely nothing but lightning. Let's test it and find out, huh? More experience, please. I need a weapon cooldown as well. See you later, Christian. Or whenever you get back, I should so I should say. What's with all these new weapons that keep popping up? 
What I really need is to empower my current weapons, please. Christ. Alright, I need the red gemstone. Please give me the red gemstone. There's a horde of absolute fuck in the way of that. But I can walk around them. Oh, I see. So it's a different... It's a kind of uh, spell or item, huh? Okay, now we're going somewhere, it looks like. We might even survive this time. Oh, you recover 0.2 HP per second. That's kind of important. I don't know why I didn't think to choose it before. Especially in my situation. Yeah, I definitely do that. See what goodies I find this time. <laughs> we might be okay this time, actually. But we're not doing enough damage yet. I need more damage options. To be honest. Way more damage options. Oh, 
Oh man. Thank you. <laughs> oh, yes. We're doing a lot better now. An unlikely start, too. More lightning power. More lightning power. Need more damage, need more damage, need more damage. I see an opening. We might be able to make it a run down there. Why did the game give me another weapon? Ah! Uh. I'm gonna stop there, chat. This has been too much. I should be happy with one mission success and I got stuff to do today that don't involve playing meme games 
But before we do that, let's go ahead and purchase Crochi. So this thing revives. That's cool. Can't buy anything else, unfortunately. I wonder if everything is increasing in the in the, in the price the more I um, buy stuff. That's probably what's going on, isn't it? Saturday, We've got Sunday tomorrow, the rest of the weekend is ahead of us. We have things to do, people to see. And I'm going to see if there's anyone that we can raid today, or that we should raid today. Doesn't seem like many people stream at Monday, uh, Saturday morning, our time, which is just as well. Why would they, right? Paraquid is playing Mahjong Soul. Grandpa VT is having a chill stream today. Puddy is playing something called Crystal Project, wherever that is. <clears throat> Let's go say hello to Grandpa. I don't think I've ever rated Grandpa in the, in the pre in the past before, anyway. So we'll go ahead and say hi to them. It's gonna be like possible. So, yeah, they need a hype train. Mm -hmm. On second thought, eh, maybe next time. See y'all um, not on Monday, uh, yeah. probably on Wednesday. <laughs>